Hey everyone, it's Close Place Games, and this is Monster Sanctuary. So I'm actually recording off of my MacBook because my gaming laptop is having issues. I hope you can hear me okay, and hopefully everything works well in the future. I'm trying to get better at, yeah, just everything in general. Life has been a mess. My brother is over with my niece and nephew, and yeah. Anyway, let's let's start. The monster sanctuary is a land far from any other human civilization. While wild animal uh, monsters are dangerous to humans, monsters raised by them grow loyal to their owners. Most of the people in the monster sanctuary reside in the keeper's stronghold. Many of them learn to raise and train monsters. They call themselves Monster Keepers. Choose a familiar view. I'm going to go with the lion, I think, at least this time. It's like the lion. Yes. Among the prestigious monster keepers, there are four prominent old bloodlines tied to the monster sanctuary. Each of those bloodlines is aided by a spectral familiar. Those familiars are ageless protectors of their family passed on from one keeper to the next. Chloe is just starting out to become a monster keeper like her ancestors before her. As of all starting monster keepers, her journey begins on the keeper's trail. Her bloodline familiar bears the form of a spectral lion. Name your familiar. Um, call you Judah. You're going to be the lion of Judah. Monsters are wild things. The only reason I'm helping you is you is the bond I share with your family. Most monsters are less inclined than me to help you. That is why you must always raise your own monsters. They will grow alongside you just as I will and they will fight for you. The best way to gain a monster's loyalty is to hatch it from its egg. Of course, you will have to fight to get those monster eggs. Look at the blob over there. Initiate a fight by contact. We shall see if you will live up to your ancestors. Oops. Okay, that does inventory. That has action. And this is jump. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's basically Pokemon. <laughs> Whatever. There you go, you received the blob egg. Now you need to hatch it. Open the inventory menu and try to hatch it. Calm goo.
This is your first monster you hatched by yourself. Right now, it is weak, so you will need to train it. There is much more for you to learn, too. You and the blob are quite alike. Let's continue on the keeper's trail. It will lead us to old Burn, an old friend of mine. He is a patient teacher to all young keepers who seek guidance. I advise you to listen to him very carefully. Okay, let's go. Oh, that's annoying. Based on the effectiveness of your combat strategy, you get a rating of 1 to 5 stars. Earning a higher rating increases your chances of getting better drops like rare monster eggs. Young Keeper, tis the Keeper's Trail's beginning, for all the man what beast and sanctuary has beginning. Okay. As your monster gain experience in combat, they will increase in level. This allows them to gain new skills. You should take a look at the skill tree menu. Hey, 
Hey, fellow keeper, did you know that every single one of your monsters possesses a special ability? Some can be used to get rid of certain obstacles. Also, you might encounter some destructible walls like the one behind me. Go ahead and try to hit it with some of your monster's abilities. Obtain virtual ring. Hey friend, you are just starting as a monster keeper, right? Did you get some equipment for, uh, for your monster already? You can make your monster stronger by equipping them. Ooh, didn't know that. Okay. Konami. Give it to you. Since you're technically the healer right now and you're the tank, so. Oh, you can both have one. Am I supposed to be able to get up there? Ah! Almost. Dang it. Platformers are not my forte. I don't think so. I think I'm supposed to have an animal with a special ability. So close every time. I don't think I'm supposed to get up there unless I have one of the other monsters, so probably not right now. Yeah. Take that.
and prospered through generations, founded cities and nations, connected by dirt and wheel, and later by steam and steel. You made it. Man knew of those who wait in the woods and caverns beyond, yet for the treasures within he longed for greed of kings was great. <laughs> 